Hi Virgo, welcome to your Who is Coming Towards You reading for October 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, including the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to Sassy Scorpion Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out and show her some love. Also, I remember Tyler's Tarot, um, Four of Pentacles, okay, has used this title as well. Uh, I don't get around much on the internet anymore, or YouTube, but I do remember that he has used this and wanted to make mention of that. So love and support to him as well and check him out. Also, I'll have both of their links. Um, I'm sure you already have checked him out, but I'll have both of their links in the description box below nonetheless. Uh, being that this is about you and another person, this could resonate with theirs or your moon rising or Venus sign. And I picked this reading honestly because it just seemed fitting because October is going to be busy. I don't know what's going on. I, I got to probably check out some astrology and see what's happening. But there's it's like the door opens and the air is coming in and there's flow and it's a big whoosh. It's just there's there's just movement. There's a shift. They die, I have out to see. All right. Okay, so hi Virgo. <laughs> okay. All right. Who's coming towards Virgo? Who's coming towards Virgo? Who is coming towards Virgo? Nine of Wands. Nine of Cups. Ten, ten of Wheel. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Six of Cups. Four of Swords. The world. All right. Ooh, we got the wheel in the world. Okay. So we got possibilities, endings, and beginnings. All right. All right. Hmm. Contentedness. <laughs> okay. So we is has there been communication here because we have we have like an understanding, um, we have a it's like something has been communicated or decided or agreed upon and there's there's closure. Okay, well what is it? What's this nine of cups? What's this nine of cups for Virgo? Six of Cups. All right. What's this Wheel of Fortune for Virgo? What's this Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So far, so good, right? What's this Six of Cups for Virgo? Queen of Swords. All right, that's fair. You're working through some stuff. That's all right. It says Four of Swords for Virgo. Oh, okay. Yeah, no hurry for you. Just, well, there's an offer there, isn't there? What's this world card about for Virgo? <laughs> Look at that. Okay. All right, so you, are you given a choice here about what you wanna do and you're like, I can't, I gotta, I, I'm still working through something prior. So you're sorting through something. It could be um, you're going to counseling about some long past issues um, or you're still processing a separation or having to decide what to do about another situation but there's there's a situation that you're dealing with already um that could be kind of a lot emotionally you're having to come to terms with a few things you're balancing emotion with clarity and that's not always easy and that's um something that you're focused on right now and i think that your person whoever's coming towards you is hmm I don't think you're letting them in yet. I think that you're, is it, is this an online thing? Are they at a distance? Do you have two people you're dealing with here? One, you're trying to 
sort through like you're trying to um hmm trying to close out one situation and you've got someone waiting gosh for as, for as much flow as there is you, it seems like everybody's got someone waiting for them interesting okay could be that you're focused on you and yours and you've got someone that is interested in joining you with that that would like you to be open to the possibility of that with them. Um, they might be somebody from your past that you know also, but you're dealing with another person from your past or your own issues that you're trying to sort through. And you don't, you simply don't need the pressure or obligation right now. I don't think the person's putting any pressure on you. Um, but it, you need some space and you need some time and that's okay. So take it. There's no pressure here. It just It's kind of like, okay, can we put this on hold, please? Because I just, I, I got to sort through some stuff. Yes, I'm open to possibility, but I also know that that can't happen right now because my plate is full. Um, and you're, you're just, you're dealing with something else right now. And it looks like they're aware of that and they're like, okay, uh, just so long as you acknowledge the possibility of what could be, possibility of what could be, what's in front. Um, they're keeping their options open with you. They, they know that you're otherwise occupied. This person has, um, it feels like they're kind of happy-go-lucky anyway. Uh, you know them. I think that's why you know that they'll understand um, that you're kind of wanting to sort your stuff right now. That's It's so funny because that's coming up with everybody is that they're having to focus on their own stuff and they've got someone that's approaching and waiting or like, okay, I'll be over here. I don't think this person's going anywhere. I just, is, is part of it that you want to kind of keep them from it too, because they are kind of just light and uncomplicated and you're like, yeah, I'm not. So give me a minute because it feels like you're not wanting them to know this either. Like it's, you're very private about this. So, yeah, so no pressure from them, certainly, and, and I don't think you would stand for that, but I also think that you don't want to share any of this with them. Like, you'd rather just have done with it and have it sorted, and then we'll see. There's no guarantees. It's just a we'll see with them. So I'm surprised the Four of Pentacles didn't show up here. Hmm. Wait, what else for... Because you, you feel very um, like, nope, I'm going to deal with this. This is mine. There we go. Not in a bad way, just very private about it. Two of Pentacles. Okay. So I think that, um, hmm, is it that you're balancing both issues? Because is it that you're balancing both issues here? What's this Queen of Swords? Because what's this Queen of Swords about? This could be Libra, by the way. What's this Queen of Swords? I'm sorry, what's this Six of Cups and Queen of Swords? What is this? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So you've got a a new interest per se, or rather they're it's new that they're interested in you and you're dealing with your own it looks like closing out something or making some decisions about an already established relationship, or you're sorting through some drama and trauma. And so you're not wanting to bring that into this new, potentially new um, offer, relationship, interest. And so you're taking your time to deal with it. You're taking your time to get some closure on it. And that's okay. And it looks like this, this person, they're not going anywhere. They're allowing for it. They're not going to get involved with you until then, which is the way you want it. So win-win. Um, I don't think you want to bring your stuff current to the, like, I think you want to, for the Virgos I'm reading for, you're very kind of tidy about things like that, which, you know, good for you. <laughs> um, and you're just wanting to take care of that. What else for, no, this one. What else for Virgo? What's for Virgo for October? The beginning. Uh-huh. The beginning yes the potential <laughs> wanting to close out the past so you can get to the beginning but it, you're it kind of 
I don't know. I, I don't... Maybe you are juggling both. I don't know. I feel like you're kind of keeping um, this separate and that. Unless you're keeping it private and still dealing, but you're just not telling them about it. Like you're kind of keeping that. So you're, you're dealing with them and you're dealing with this, but you, they're not mixing. What else for... Virgo. What else for Virgo? Queen of Wands. King of Wands reversed. And nine of wands. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So that would make sense why you're, um, hmm, why you're making the decisions that you're making because it came down to self-respect, not wanting to be put on hold by someone or, or the back and forth with someone that's noncommittal. Um, it's, it's basically you're having to, you're getting some clarity about where you're at with what once was and realizing that that's not for you, that you're not valued like you should be by the person that's incoming. <laughs> um, they, they're not like coming in hot, but they want their chance and they want, they're hoping you see the potential for it. I think you do, but I also think that you're, there's still some sadness and trying to sort through feelings as well, as well as the clarity of a, uh, a situation that you're having to deal with before you want this beginning with them. And I think that's very wise. So, um, yeah, it could be somebody, this is, uh, I read that as Sagittarius. Could be that somebody was quite the diva or quite the, you know, I want this, but I don't want to have to give it. Or you just had someone that didn't know what they wanted and it left you harried and scattered and having to do all the things all the time. And, and you're just, you're tired of it. And you're not going to try and be something you're not anymore or do things you don't want to do, which the new one is not asking. They just, again, want their chance. But you're still sorting through a, a recently past situation and you're doing your due diligence. So good for you. So when you're ready, um, and I say when you're ready, because I don't want you to feel obligated or pressured like you got to balance both. Maybe you already are. But just know that if you need to take a break, you can. Um, this isn't going anywhere. There's potential here. It's it's going to unfold as it unfolds. There's no pressure for you to have to hurry up and get things sorted so you can be available for the next thing. No, you do you. October's going to be busy enough anyway. So take your breaks where you can get it. And be kind to yourself while you're sorting through this. It's not easy when you deal with somebody that's kind of... It just doesn't show the same interest or respect, so... Okay, Virgo, much love to you, and I hope to see you in the next reading. And you have yourself a calm October because you're going to be busy. All right. Okay, you take care.